Greetings, morning, top of the top. I want to talk about briefly this contraption behind me, my solar setup. I have 14 solar panels, right? Eight plus six, yeah, 14 panels. Um, totally off grid. Um, I went with EG4. I had a DC solar trailer before this, um, but it wasn't really working out how I wanted to. I'll talk about that a little bit and I'll throw in some pictures of what a DC solar trailer was. What? of what I had so you can see what I'm saying but then I upgraded to this system uh, moved this container this container was actually right here next to this container and I had to drag it all the way over there and clean out those trees behind it to get it there because I was begging a guy for like two months to, to come and do it but that's one thing about living in the country. Um, sometimes you just gotta do it yourself, man. It is what it is. But I bought these panels. These are bifacial panels. I forget how many watts they are, but I will, uh, I think they're, no, they're 545 watts. So that's like a total of 7,000 watts, some, something in there. Um, and I, I'm going to be honest, I just bought these off Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. I did not buy these online. Um, I found a guy who was just buying them by the pellet, selling them at a good price. So that's the solar setup. And then up top there, um, I bought two EG4, I think they're called the Bright Mount brackets. They're 250 a piece. And then these brackets down here, are I did custom. Let me Let's get closer in on that. So these brackets I just did custom eight inch sono tube with some rebar and don't be like me don't weld it because I ended up cracking that's why I put this tape end up hit cracking it so don't weld it screw it down uh, and then I did that I just put those brackets up there and this is just all from iron uh, and steel I already had left over I didn't really even go buy this I had this this I bought all this steel for the window so these are the two that's the two, uh, six. And then eventually I'm, I'm gonna put a, a regular door right here. So you could just walk in without having to open up the container doors. But yeah, those are the custom brackets. And then, like I said, up top, I spent 250 each for those uh, EG4 brackets up there. And these are ran in a series, seven panels per series going down into the inverter. So let's go inside so I can show you the inside. So this is my setup here. Um, I went with EG4. Uh, my father is a big, he likes, he's very, understands the solar a lot. So he told me about EG4 and then we ended up going with EG4 because it's easy to install. I installed everything myself because these solar installers, I'm gonna be honest, I don't trust them. I barely trust the uh, companies I buy the solar from. I hate to have to admit that to y'all. I just think everybody's a little uh, not straightforward. That's the best way I can put it. Because I bought that outdoor battery from one of the biggest solar distributors. And they told me that it would have been compatible with the, a DC solar trailer I was talking about earlier. And of course, after I bought it, oh no, it's not compatible. But you sold it to me and told me it was going to be compatible. So that's a whole nother story and uh we're not going to get into that right now um so this the difference between these two batteries is this one is an outdoor battery all weather and this is an indoor battery so i bought this one because I, my dc solar trailer was outside and then i've just bought this second one maybe like a month ago and obviously it's inside the shipping container so it's it's indoors so it doesn't doesn't need that but both of these have heaters in them so when it gets to winter time 
they they self heat and all of this yeah the wiring is not the neatest i actually bought the box to go on top of here but for some reason it didn't work out but whatever this is the this is the 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 solar panels that go to the roof as you can see that they go up into the roof that those are the 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 cores from the panel this is the shut off box for that this is the inverter so as you can see right now i don't know if you can see that so the battery is 80 both batteries 84 percent charged and i guess it's taking in a little power so this is the inverter this is the 12k and i believe what eg4 told me this is actually maxed out uh, with the 14 panels i can't add any more panels to it based off what they told me and then yeah i just hooked this up so i still i got this hooked up with couplings as you can see there i'm still gotta buy the eg4 cables to go with that but that's basically the setup here i need to clean up in here a little bit and tighten up put some of this stuff on some uh, zip ties and stuff but this is my basic solar setup. Like I said, me and my father set this all up by ourselves. That is the reason I like EG4 because to me, it's very easy to set up. And I just think if you if you go with a solar installer, say this. So this battery was almost 4,000, like 3,500. That battery is 3,500. That was 3,500. So this is about $10,000 worth of stuff here alone. The solar panels cost me about 2,500. So you're about at about 12,000 some odd dollars. Then with all the electrical wire, cause I had to run number six wire all the way back to the house. Uh, we can go outside, I can show you that. That was probably another extra close to $1,000. So you're looking, this is about a $13,000 setup. And um, I think it's it, it's it's with two batteries. Just me adding this battery last month it makes a big difference. But I still I'm I'm gonna get a backup generator at some point. But I think uh, if you're just living in a container house, uh, one or two people, and you can be somewhat conservative, I think the two battery setup is sufficient enough to run it. But like I said, you this also let me let me inf uh, 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 this is also a all weather inverter. Um, and this is actually, I didn't need to spend this much on this inverter because this actually can be used, used for the grid. It has it right here. You can see this thing. Hold on. This, cause I don't, I'm not tied to the grid. I'm completely off grid, but see here, that means you could tie it back to the grid. And I spent 3,500 on this. You, you actually could have got something cheaper and got that for about 1,500. So you could probably be all in. A little less than this, um, you know, maybe eight thousand, just depending on how you want to do it. I I wanted to spend more because that's just what I wanted to do. So let's go outside real quick. But um, haven't had any issues with this system since I set it up, and like I said, all self self installed. Let's go back outside real quick. All right. So as you can see here, this is where the the batteries and the uh, inverters at. This is where the main number six wire comes out and then it runs into the ground and then as you can see it comes back up here it runs underneath the house i still got to deal with putting some plastic on this installation so please don't mind that and then it runs all the way back to the back of the house underneath i'm gonna show you this the panel solar uh the not the solar panel the uh the uh, electrical panel. Let's go see that real quick. So these are the panels here. Yeah, I still have this wire dangling because I have an extra line going to the storage container that, that I'm gonna hook up eventually, but this is it. Um, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why my father hooked up two panels here, but there's a reason for it. Uh, maybe I could do another video on it, but I know how everything's hooked up, but we got the double panel right there and uh, everything's running good you know so that's basically the, the the system um and i think this run is about 70 feet from the panel all the way into where the inverter at and we use number six wire to you know pull the load from the inverter into the panel box so that's basically that's that's basically what's going on here with the solar system man totally off grid 
and uh i'm good man i mean i got enough to run you know i have a, a mini split there and i have a mini split on the uh solar container over there so it's enough power to run both so my biggest suggestions is when you're doing solar um just watch a ton of videos and try to figure out how you can do it yourself. Yeah, the electrical, you may not be able to do, but you know, me and my father, contracting has been in our family for over a hundred years. So we've been building houses, all that stuff. So we understand plumbing, electrical, all that type of stuff. So if you don't understand electrical, you may need an electrician to obviously do the electrical part, but hooking up solar panels is pretty seemingly easy um as long as the power's off on all the inverters and everything it's eg4 makes it very easy um I'm, this is not a sponsorship for eg4 i'm just saying i bought the eg4 system because i like the performance and to me it's easy to install there's plenty other systems you can get for cheaper um i wanted lithium batteries because on my solar trailer those were lead acid batteries and you got the water and all this crap i don't have time for that i just want something that's plug it in it's easy i don't want to do a whole bunch of maintenance and the and the other reason i think it's important to even if you don't install your system but it's important to especially if you're off grid in the country have a little basic understanding of how your system works because when something goes wrong um if you have to call somebody, it's going to take forever. And what I noticed with a lot of these solar installers is because um, with my DC solar trailer, I called about maybe 20 um, solar companies. No one would come out. So what I've come to realize is if they don't install it, they're not going to do no maintenance on it. It's, it's really I find it kind of a little a little weird because I'm in the contracting business and I, I don't when I go to people's houses, I don't say, hey, yeah, I can't fix this because I didn't install. It. Hey, I didn't build your house, so I can't do any repairs. You know, that's basically how 90 percent of these solar got people are. So that's why I think it's important to figure out how you first can install your own system if you can, if you have the capability to do it so then if something goes wrong you have a basic understanding hopefully you hopefully you can fix it yourself and then buying something like eg4 um where you know they pretty they have a pretty decent support system so man that's just my uh fyi because something's always going to go wrong and uh if you can't call somebody to fix it or uh, or you don't know how to fix it yourself um, even if you can call somebody to fix it, even if you can call the solar installer, how long is it going to take? Is it going to take a week to get out there and you have no power for a week? So these are things you got to kind of consider uh, when you're getting a solar system. That's why I recommend also to possibly looking into a generator, backup generator. I'm about to get a propane generator in a couple, like a month or two, you know, just in case something goes wrong, you do have a backup system. So you got to kind of keep everything in mind because when you're off grid, uh, it's all on you, partner. So, and keep that in mind. It's Alabama Acres, man. I hope this helped out. I'm going to do some more videos, too, on the solar and the full cost and everything. But I just want to give you a basic rundown of it, man. I'll see you on the next one.